That sounds good. Since everybody enjoyed my highly detailed video on how to replace the LCD screen for the Photon M3 Max, I thought I'd make another version, but for replacing the FEP sheet on its VAT. So before we start, make sure you're wearing gloves or respirator, depending on your sensitivity to resin, as there may be some residual resin on the VAT itself as we go about cleaning the whole thing before we replace the FEP. So we're going to need some isopropyl alcohol. I have 99.9% .9 on hand, but you don't need this high of a concentration. Though the higher the concentration, the better it will clean. You will also need something like a paper towel or microfiber, depending on your preference. Though I normally would say never use these kinds of towels to touch your FEP sheet, because it will scratch it. But in this case, we're gonna be trashing the FEP sheet anyway, so it doesn't really matter. The whole point of this cleaning process is to remove any resin in the crevices before we install the new FEP sheet. Once you've cleaned everything with IPA, go ahead and get an Allen wrench and remove every single one of these bolts to release the FEP sheet from the vat. Unscrewing all 26 bolts is the most tedious portion of this process, but once you do it, grab the vat, lift it up, put your finger underneath one of the corners of the FEP sheet, push it upwards, and it'll remove the portion that's holding onto the FEP sheet. And now we have the FEP sheet and the border. Go ahead and flip it over and I lied to y'all because we get to remove 26 more bolts. Once you remove all 26 bolts, go ahead and remove the old FEP film and grab the new one for the next step. If you bought any Cubix M3 Max FEP film, then one side will be smooth and that needs to face towards the LCD. The other side has a slight texture and is matte. That side faces towards the build plate. And it's very hard to see, but do not forget to remove the protective film that's on the smooth side of the new FEP sheet. Once you peel off the protective film, go ahead and put the new FEP sheet smooth side down on top of the border. Then go ahead and get some sort of tape. I prefer painter's tape because it won't leave any sort of residue and it can be removed easily. Place it on the edges like I have done here to ensure that the center portion of this FEP sheet is relatively taut. You won't be able to make it super tight just yet, but it just needs to be kind of tight for the next few steps. So for the next step, you're gonna need something sharp like a box cutter, oh, like a box cutter, and you're gonna have to poke a hole in every single one of these holes that originally had a screw. So you can take this plate and put it back on. And as you are screwing in each one of these bolts, I would recommend to go in a specific order. Like if you do one here, go the opposite side over there and so on and so on. Very similar to how you would a tire. This way there is even pressure placed on the FEP sheet as you screw everything together. Once you finish screwing in all the bolts, go ahead and remove the painter's tape and then take this whole thing excess and all, flip it over and put it in the recess of the vat. So before we screw everything together, let's go ahead and take a microfiber and brush the surface very lightly and gently to remove any sort of dust or particulates that might have settled onto the surface while we were screwing everything together. Because these bolts are larger and longer, I'd recommend taking each one of these and pre-inserting them into each hole so that when you go around and tighten them all, you could do so much easier. So this is a critical step. This step will actually tighten the entire FEP sheet and make it usable. And it's very important that as you tighten each bolt, you tighten the opposite and adjacent one as well so that everything is pushed down evenly. As you can see, it's starting to really get taut as I tighten everything down. It should sound like a, a drum at some point. I'm gonna make it a little bit tighter and then it'll be good. That sounds good. Due to how big the actual build volume is for the M3 Max, I had to tighten down the edges quite a bit for it to get really taut down the center. But I would expect it to be a lot less tightening required for smaller build volumes because I'm not really stretching as much material. Now that everything is screwed together and taut, let's go ahead and get something sharp and trim off all this excess FEP. You could also use a pair of scissors, but I want to use a blade to be able to get a really clean cut. And there we go, we're all done.